Good morning, brothers and sisters. Thank God for this beautiful, wonderful, cold uh, day. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Is it cold out there where you are? Eh, huh? It's cold in Oakwood. Well, I tell you, it is cold. Okay, without further ado, I got a... Uh, uh, I believe God have given me this this morning. And um, we're going to see how God going to, you know, bring this forth by using my, my mind, body, and soul. Amen. And always remember what I tell you that I believe that God has given to me to tell you is for me too. So I'm getting fed just like you are getting fed when you listen to the word of God that come from the crystallized, holy, and wonderful saving words here in this book here that we call Bible, and which of old is called scripture, amen, of the apostles of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, amen. That's what we handle here. We are handling, handling Jesus, handling, handling, how will you say that? We are handling Jesus this morning, amen, this word. He said he's the word, so we handle it. How do we handle it? H-A-N-D-L-E, handle, I believe you drop your E and put the I-N-G on there. I think it's something that well, amen, I, I believe you know what I'm talking about. We're handling Jesus this morning. I think I correct. I think I said it correctly at that time. See this word here. See, we come to Him, and He tell us things. And you know, God has a great sense of humor. You know, I mean, from Genesis to Revelation, some things in there make you make you laugh, make you cry, encourage you, inspire you. Oh man, when you beat down, you you know, you think you you at your last mile or on the way, and he comes in there, man, and just turn things around for you in your life. Amen? Huh? By just by hearing the word of God. For faith come by hearing, and hearing come by what? The word of God. I cannot uh, say this enough. I just cannot say this enough. I, you know, I rehearse it for me. I rehearse it as often as I possibly can. Or God bless me to remember. And he definitely tell me to what? Remember. This word here is so powerful, man. When you build on this word here, you have a solid foundation. And you boyfriends and girlfriends and wives and, and fiancés and all this. And you wonder why you struggle? You struggle because there's no strong foundation that you build in your what? You build your affection, your emotion, all those things that's intertwined together that we call love. Huh? Love. What is love? Jesus said, if you love me, you keep my what? My word. You have faith in my word. Do what they ask you to do. I mean, they command you to do. So if, if, if your husband loves you, then he's going to what? He's going to be focused on your needs, your desire, and your wants. But those, your needs and desire and your wants have to also be what coupled with what? The word of God. Like here, his desire for you is coupled with what? The word of God. Everything has to be built on this foundation here. If it's not built on the foundation, it will not stand. And if it don't stand, it don't mean nothing. It's void. Are we getting this? You have to build. I built. Not me, God used my wife, Carolyn, and I, from an early age, when the first time we met each other, we built what we had on the word of God, and God transformed that thing from three days to what? Three months to what? Three years to what? On and on and on and on and on. 35 years. Huh? Everything wasn't what we call complete or perfect together like it was supposed to be. But God made it, he made it so. You see? That's why he, he's able to say, what 
God has put together, let no man what? Huh? Put asunder, break it up or whatever. See, you can tell when God put a relationship together, nothing can break. Oh, you might have some straits and struggles and going on. See what I'm saying? But that don't, that, don't, that don't mean nothing to God because God said nothing will break it up if he put it together. God put Adam, Eve, huh? What? To him. He, they were made of him. And no, no, no matter what the devil did or whatever the case may be, guess what? He couldn't what? Take the man and woman from God. All that stuff went through, but God made a way out of no way to show them how to get back in, 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 in uh, what you call recon making reconciliation to God. Same thing, trip it down to us, men, women, boyfriend, whatever you want to call yourself. You have that kind of feelings or affection for one another. Build it on truth, righteousness, justice, holiness. It will never, ever, huh? It will never ever fail you. I know. See? See? Outside of the word, all you have is something that what? Is void. Void of what? Void of understanding. Void of what? Void of really finding how to put it together because there's no way to put it together. That's why you jump from what? One man uh, 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 to another man. You women and 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 and, 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 and the men, one woman to a, another woman. I don't get how I don't get how you put it. <laughs> Can't do but one thing at one time. Come on now, huh? But but I'm, this is what I'm saying. I don't know how I got on this. I thought it'd be on Romans 12, and here it is. God got me going this way. Somebody had had a problem out here this morning, but they want it fixed. See? See? Somebody saying, I don't know what's going on with my man. I don't know what's going on with her. I don't know what's going on with him. I just don't know. You are a liar, and that's from the piss of hell. And that's not to offend you, but I'm just letting you know, if you build on the rock, if you build on what? Gee, the word. You had some rocky moments, but it would never work. Huh? It will sustain you. It will sustain you through it all. See? Yes, sir. So God took me and my wife, built 35 years on this rock here of Jesus Christ. Yes, there was struggle. Yes, there was misunderstanding. Yes, but God, what? We still hung in, we still by the power of Almighty God, by the faithfulness of God, by his word, we still what? Was together. That's all that matters to God. Because see, everything else can be what? Huh? Everything else can be renewed and changed. So don't tell me I love my wife, I love my girlfriend, I love my boy. I, no, 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 no. I'm trying to tell you right now, sisters and brothers, you need to build it on the rock. The rock is simply truth, righteousness, justice, and holiness. The rock shows you and tells you at the same time what, how to treat that girl, how to treat that woman, how to treat that man, how to treat that her. Come on now. And if you comply, you're going to get the results there. The reason why you keep getting the results that you get and it ain't the results of God is because guess what? You won't change your method. The methodology is just all, all, all over the place. You got to change your, you got to change. That's why I say what? We are a new creature. New mindset. Let me go ahead and get in uh, 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 Romans right here. Cause, 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 cause this is going to help somebody. And, and, and as always, I like to, I like to invite my ex-convicts, my brothers and my comrades that came up in the word of God when they were locked up and out here continue to what? Continue to walk with God. I want to invite them in this uh, in this in this arena this morning here. See, so God can what extort? I mean, ex exhort us, huh? See, in His Word this morning. All right. Without further ado, let's let, let's turn. If you got your Bible, let's turn to Romans twelve. Let's turn to Romans twelve. Okay, here we. Here we are in Romans 12, and 
And we uh, allow God to come in and this morning and, and right this moment here to just take full control of our, our members, amen, uh, 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 in our spirit. Praise the Lord. And uh, <clears throat> we, we ask forgiveness for our sins. Praise the Lord this morning that we may better be positioned in his presence, standing before his holy word, amen, ready to burn up what? The sin that's in us, huh? See? That we may come forth what? With a new mind, new way of thinking, new perceptions about us. A lot of things that we took for granted. Amen? In the name of Jesus, for his name's sake, I do pray. Say, Lord, what kind of prayer do you pray, man? Well, I, you know, I to each his own. <laughs> but I know, I know one thing. I'm praying, I'm praying to Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus, in his name, his, this word, because of the understanding of what he gave me in his word, I'm praying along, along what, with how he set this thing up. Huh? Unto my heavenly Father. Amen. All right. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies. He's talking to more than one person. Your body. That's, that's, that, 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 that's the kickaboo right there. Your body. That you present your bodies. Why he said your body? Because, see, your, your body is like a vehicle. You know, it's just like you put your feet in your car or whatever you might, it, it takes you wherever you want to, wants to go. See? But if I take that vehicle from you, then you have no uh, 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 means of going where you wants to go. See? So when we look at this right here, he said, present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable, Unto God, which is your what? Motor of, or, or motor operator, motor of operation. Your reason for what? Living. I live because of God. I do good because it's the right thing to do. Huh? But you got to get it from the word. You got to get it from God. And here's a servant, Paul, saying what? He said, I beseech you, my brethren. That you present your what? Your bodies as a what? Living your vehicle that's supposed to carry what? God in your vehicle. And if you and if you if God is in your vehicle, then guess what? Who leading you to go here, there, and whatever you need to go? What? In your body. The word of God. See? And he said, Well, present yourself for what? As a sacrifice. In other words, you don't do your will. You do who? Who will? God's will. I sacrifice this to you, God, so you can use it in whichever way you want to use it. You can carry it in this vehicle, wherever you want this vehicle to go. It's yours, Lord. I'm yours, Lord. You see what, see what Paul is saying? He's talking to newborn Christians. And what is those that have been seasoned for a, for a minute or so in the word of God. They've been in it for a while. He said, I'm just, I'm just encouraging you along the way here now. And you want to just got in this. I'm just want to let you know I'm warning you. And I'm urging you. Urging you. See? See? That, that, to what? Present your body, your vehicle. Well, well, uh, uh, for God can drive and be the what? The, 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 the driver of your vehicle. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Listen what this. So you can present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy, holy. God said I, I, you can present your body to be a living sacrifice. You can be living and you can be what? A, a holy at the same time. So don't say I can't be holy. God said... God said, "What be ye holy for I am holy. You got to work on it. That's the, that, that's the point of sacrificing. All that old stuff, the old way, the old talking, the old thinking that you used to, you know what I mean, I'll be operated by, that you used to operate. See, and it, it used to operate you and carry you to do whatever you do or say whatever you say, go wherever you go. Huh? Renew. Huh? See? 
present your body as a sacrifice. Don't wait till you're dead in the grave. No, while you're alive, as a living saint, do it now. Quick in a hurry. Do it. Are you getting this here? See, because, because whether you say, I never, I didn't know this well today, guess what? You heard. See? And you are responsible for what you have heard and will hear from this point here in God's word. What that mean? That, mean, that, mean, that, that means what? That means that, uh, 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 just like I said, you are responsible for what you hear. You can't tell God at the end of the day, well, I didn't never hear this, God. I came to Romans 12, and guess what? We all heard it. You heard it, I heard it. Let me continue to let you hear it. Okay? And then he said, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable, what? Service. Amen? Why do I live? I'm supposed to be living. Why? Because of God. Because of God. And because of sin, we have been doing that. All right? Let me go on down. Two, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what ill that is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Oh, that's powerful. Did y'all hear that? Why is you doing verse 1? You're doing verse 1 so you can what? Go to the next step in verse 2 and you're growing and, you have, and you're growing in verse 2 here now and it say, and be ye what? Conform. Conform means what? And be ye not. N-O-T. Not. Conform. That means what? Be not changed or made in image of, or in the character of, what? The ways of what? The world. And we consider the world being what? And, and ran by whom? We consider the, the world being what? The words that is opposite to the words of God. We consider a, 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 a lie is the opposite of truth that comes from God. So we're not actually looking at somewhere called in this earth realm. No, 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 no. Not only that, we're looking at something that is spiritual. The world. The world. See? If you're in Satan's world, then you are going to Satan what? Kindergarten? Huh? Head start? Elementary? High school? On up and up, you just growing, you growing, you going to school, you learning this stuff here on the devil side. He said, "Don't be what, be not what, transformed. Don't change, don't be changed to that." You see what I'm saying? See the devil, evil, wicked. No, no, but be ye what, transformed. Here it is, right here. Don't be conformed to that, but he using what, transform. You got to change. You're going through what? A change. Metamorphosis. Like I told you a long time ago. A change. Over here, you are conformed. You're already in it. See, you're already in it because of sin. You're already in this world here. See? But you are conforming every step of the way. You're learning. You, it's like going to school. You're learning. You wonder why, how I become a liar. How I become a, 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 a profamer. How did I become a, a, a adulteress or a daughterer? How did I become a liar, a, a crook and a hook and a thief and, a, and Lord know what else? How? Because I was conformed in this mess here. It was here before I got here. But because of sin, guess what? Huh? The life is in the blood. Because of sin, it was transmitted well from Adam and Eve on down to me and any and every other living soul. Human soul. Conform. Here, Jesus said, I'm being what? Transformed. That means I got to change. It's another way of change. I got to change God's way. I'm transforming now. Or oh, where I've been over here conforming, I am now transforming. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. See? 
See? And God didn't leave that right there. Look what God said, what you transforming into. He said what? And be ye what? Transformed by, you got to be transformed by the renewing. The re you got to renew this, your, your mindset. You got to renew this up. It takes a job. You can't do it by yourself. You need somebody, you need some help to transform, transform you. This mindset, your spirit. See? You gotta do <laughs> it's, it's a job. And, uh, and, and the only way you can get it done is by what? The word of the true and living God. Let me keep on. Your mind. That ye may prove. Listen to that word that prove. I want you to say T T E S T test. Say test. Test. That you may prove. What is good and acceptable, not to the devil, no, acceptable and perfect will of God. There it is. There it is. You ain't got to go ask them about what this means, what that means. No, God said it right here in his word. I'm going to break it down for you. See? So you have no excuse whatsoever. To stand, at, uh, stand in the presence of a holy God at the end of the day when God put everything down, destroy everything, all the wicked, all the sin, in the pits of hell, you have no uh, 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 right or excuse to, stay, to, to, to stand before God and say, God, I never heard it. It was not told to me. I never felt it, Lord. I wasn't in the spirit, Lord. Nobody laid their hands on me, Lord. And he said nothing like all that right there. He said just what he said right here, right here. That you may prove. You got to have a renewing of your mind, your way of thinking. Are we getting this? Are we getting this? When we dip and dive back into the old man, the old way, the old mindset and everything, you can tell, you can say, boy, your mind has not been renewed. Yeah, it's been renewed on a lot of things by God, but this area right here is not been, you, 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 you hold on to that. I, I, hey, I stand accused. You hold on to that. That got to be renewed too. And every now and then it pops up and it'll show you that that part ain't being renewed. See? See, that's the thing about God. When God get in your spirit, God there to change everything. Everything that don't look like him, feel like him, taste like him, hear like him, what else smell like him. He there to renew everything. You don't get renewed just 99 and point nine for no, he said 100%. Everything else just won't do. God said if you break one, you just would have broke what? All of it. Why? Because your mindset. See? I like this right here. And be not conformed to this what? The way the world is. See? See, now, now watch this right here. When people say, well, the way the world is, it means, that mean I got to change that. No, 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 no. You, 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 you're not listening. You're, not, you're trying to mix dirt and gold. You, you, you're not listening. You say, well, you don't, you don't stop brushing your teeth. <laughs> Come on. Uh, you don't stop going to the bathroom. And, come, come on, come on, don't be stupid. See? When he's talking about work, he's talking about a system that you have become conformed to. And in that system, it, it, it places itself as a what? As a, as a opposing fact to God. It repels the will or the system of God. That's what I'm talking about. See? 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 But here God said here, he said, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye what? Transform God's system by the renewing of your mind. Amen. Hey? That ye may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. In other words, renewing by what? The word, can you see? The word, that's the only thing that can renew your mind, your way of thinking. That you can become what? Prove. You can test. 
You can see what is of God and what is of the enemy of God. Huh? You have a measuring stick here. You have a plummet line here. You wave to God and Satan and you find out what? You find they can't balance. They can't balance. They got to be God up and the devil down. But when you got the devil up and God down, mm, somebody in trouble. It ain't God. It's you and me. See? But you can't prove nothing if you what? If you ain't got the word of God. Because you don't know who this guy is. See? Because you have been what? Conformed that way. You don't know who he is. You don't know nothing about him. But see, when you come into God, God give you light. The dark what? Dissipate. Got to come clean. And it can't come clean because it's sin. It's darkness. It got to what? Free. So God comes in and what? The darkness of, in your mind, your spirit, what? Can get out of the way. And therefore you got light. You see what I'm saying? And every time this stuff here that, been, that you've been conformed in comes up, guess what? The light of God shining on that to let you know what? It's testing time. It's time for you to prove what's this over there. They're trying to come into the light that ain't the light. So you test it, you test it, you test it, you test it. Or you go through what? A renewing of what? By testing what's come before you. And all this done to what? To make you what? God's children. God's property. The adoption of God. Huh? Taking them out of the world. Putting them in God's world. Taking them out of the system of the devil and putting them into what? God's system of love, peace, joy, happiness, eternity, patience. On and on and on and on and on and on. Huh? I like that. I like that. So when he comes, when God comes, God, we can find God being a friend to us. He come to give us our reward. See? Eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior, the Word of God made flesh. All right? Okay, let me go in here. I got to, boy, I got to move. For I say through the grace, this is Paul now, for I say through the grace given unto me to every one of you, every man that is among you. Not to think of himself or herself more highly than he ought to think. It doesn't say you couldn't think highly, but just don't think more highly of yourself than you're supposed to. You understand what I'm saying? Don't put yourself where you think you ought to be and you ain't supposed to be there. Yeah, you're supposed to be somewhere in there on God's side, in God's family. But don't, don't go, don't, don't put yourself that high. Huh? So uh, you can think it, but don't think more highly than you ought to. In other words, in other words, God is molding and shaping you in his likeness, his, his image. He can't do no more than you allow him to do in your spirit. Because God, because you have a free will. You see what I'm saying? You can't say, for example, you can't say I'm the pastor and you are, and your free will have not allow you to be past, pastor or pastoral or material. You still down here in the digging slot. You still down here in the mission, whatever you all call the missionaries, whatever the case, you understand what I'm saying? Don't think yourself more highly than you ought to be. You see what I'm saying? See, that's just an example. See, so that's what God, that's what Paul is telling them. Don't think you more high than you, what you ought to be, you know. But he said something else in this, in, in this uh, concept. Look what Paul also said. He said, don't think to every man that is among you, among you, among you, every man, see, not to think of himself more high than he ought to think, but to think sober. According as God has dealt to every man 
the measure of faith. And what is faith? Faith is the word of God. See? The word of God. How do you attain or get faith? Faith come by hearing and hearing by what? The word of God. That's Romans 10, 17. Read it. I believe it's 10, 17, but it's up in there earlier. You see what I'm saying? See? See? So as often as you grow in faith or in the word of God, God is putting you where he know you best need to be in your growth and your walk with him. Don't you come in and say, well, I need to be up there now, Lord. They need to represent me. I mean, they need to see me as, as, as up there. Or what? No, no, no. It don't work like that. See, because you can't take no more than what God gives you. And God ain't going to give you no more than what you, are, you need to get where you at. So you can grow to get what? Where you need to be. Or a little higher. God is doing this. You know, one water, one plant, one water, but God get in. God is giving you the increase according to your free will to what? To obey the word of God. That's where your faith starts. Faith come in, right there. See? But if you never read, you never sit down and you do patchwork. You know, we do patchwork. We just go and look for one thing that God said, then we go carry it. But God said this right here. And you don't know the concept, you don't know nothing whatsoever. You see, putting yourself above. There you go. Boy, then what you. There it is. Ought to be. There it is. You need to come on down where you need to be. Learn what you need to learn to get to where you work. The next step. Have y'all ever had experience with that? I know you don't like it. I know you're mad with me, but you know what? You need to turn that anger to God because I ain't saying it. It came out of God's word. And there it is. Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Holy Ghost. All right. Verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, this is one body. Physically, it's something you can see, smell, touch with your five senses. These are members. Your head is a member. Hand is a member. Huh? Arm is a member. Legs is a member. You got many members. What? In this one body. And they all function together. Right? Left. Come on. Huh? All from together to the move what? To get the body to what? To move and function like it's supposed to be as one body. When you, 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 you missing two members. See? Each member is different. These two members trying to act like the head. No, 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 no. The head is a member all by itself within what? The body of God. Or what? In your body. So your body can function. Along with the hands, the arm, the feet. You see what I'm saying? So what is God is saying here? <clears throat> For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not, I say have not, the same office or the same function. Do y'all understand this? Huh? Let me read a little more. I don't want to jump ahead of myself. So we, who's Paul talking to? The beginners in Christ. The people of Christ. Their family. He's talking to the church. They called out one. Called out from what? From sin. Not called out from Ebenezer back in the church. Not called out from the same day in the church. The first day in the church. The morning. No, he said call. He said who, who, who? They called out from what? Called out from the sin. Out of the system of the world system. Being conformed to sin. They are called out of that. That's the, that's the church. We are the church. And in reference to this body on the outside that we see, how many members, he, he's saying this for spiritually in the body of Christ. There are many members, but different what? Offices. You might get one saint over here talking and preaching about this. You might get one saint over here. He talking. Up. Let, let, let me let, let, me, let me, uh, 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 Rome speak for itself. Let me, read, let, me, let me speak for Let him speak for itself, Lord. For we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. So we, being many, see, Paul flipped now, he flipped the switch. For we, who is we? The people of God, and being what? Many, being many, it's many of us. 
There's many of us. Huh? Are one body in Christ. Who is Christ? The anointed. Who is Christ? The word of God made flesh. Who is Christ? Him that got up from the grave. Who is Christ? Huh? Come on. God in the flesh. Emmanuel will. God with us. Who is Christ? We all supposed to be well. In Christ. Why is there so many different kind, different types of churches under the umbrella of Christianity? And we are all in Christ. You got so many different denominations. And each one of y'all separate. You can't come together on nothing. Hardly nothing, put it like that. Huh? We not like them. We not like them. We believe in this. We believe in them. Paul said what? Did, 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 did I die for y'all? Christ died for you all. You all ought to be, be believing and working in what? In Christ. Yeah, men in office, but what? The same body. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? Are you putting your soul salvation on the block to serve and to please these many different types of denominations rather than going to the word yourself? You're able to read, to articulate. You're able, you're able to do math. Huh? You're able to add, subtract, divide. Huh? And you're going to put it all on the line because you follow behind some denomination that got a little truth and a whole lot of lies. Huh? Looking like the world and telling me they 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 Christ black people. Are, are, you, are, are you are you are you really my sisters and my brother want to do that? And find out when you get to your your destination, you find that you're on the wrong train. You've been doing the wrong. Come on, I think that. But let me go on. That between you and God. And we being many are one body in Christ. And every one member, every one member, one of another. One of another. That's the key. That's the key. That's the key. Even though we got many offices. But, then, but, 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 but we know we be of Christ because what? Each office is one of another. Which means what? We all work together. All work together for the functioning of what? The body. And Christ is what? Huh? The body. We in the body of Christ. When you find one member is not working to, huh? Another? Something is going on. Something's wrong there. See? Something's wrong. See? And that's what happened when we find in the wherever in the world. In the churches, in the prisons, wherever, when you find things are not being what working together, you're not in the body of Christ. Let, let me let me read that again. Let me read that again. So we, being many, are one body, and one body, one body in Christ, and every one of the members, one of another. This is a body. This is Robert Maxwell body. These are members of Robert Maxwell's body. They are different functions of the office which in the members work of Robert Maxwell body. If one member pulled him over there and he ain't supposed to be pulling over there, something is wrong with that member, then the whole body is all, sh come on, can't function as a whole, as a body. Until that member get in line with what? The other member 